Jonathan Bobot. I'm a doctor in biology um, in the department of uh, uh, department of entomology, which is insect science, and uh, that's it. When I started working on mosquitoes, it was about to find attractants or repellents, so attracting them to kill them or try to protect ourselves against their approach. Um, but surprisingly, as we studied their sense of smell from a very um, uh, basic research point of view, we discovered that they were smelling things that are very important to us, things that we put in perfume, uh, things that we put as um, additives to food um, or additives to cigarettes, or we put in ice cream, uh, compounds that we use every day. And they have these smell receptors, these little molecules that can detect these compounds of enormous importance to us. And the surprise was this. What if we could steal, literally steal from the mosquito, these smell receptors and build and engineer an artificial nose, a, a biosensor of some sort, um, something portable, something quick to smell, and, and that biosensor would need to be very fast, we're very sensitive and very selective. And it just so happens that mosquitoes have these smell receptors that we can take from them. And, uh, and that was a big surprise because it took us in a very different directions in terms of research. We do really Frankenstein type of experiments in the lab. Okay, we look at them through the microscope. Um, we do some behavioral experiments, that's classic. Uh, but we do something really funky, if I may say. We take these smell receptors as an RNA molecule, as a gene, if you will, and we inject that in frog eggs. And that's really interesting because these frog eggs, so they belong to, to these big animals, right? Are big, they are very big cells. They are cells that you can see with the naked eye. They are about one millimeter diameter. And what we do, with in, we inject inside these eggs the DNA of these smell receptors. And then we can probe these eggs. We can really interrogate these eggs and say, hey, eggs, what do you smell now that you have these smell receptors on, on your surface? And we can do all, all kinds of pharmacological experiments trying to find out what kind of smell uh, tickle these receptors or what kind of drug prevent their function. And, 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 and in this way, we can discover how sensitive and how selective and how useful these mosquito receptors can be to us. These biosensors can detect these interesting compounds such as uh, compounds that you detect in wine, compounds that you detect in the breath of people who have certain diseases. Um, we can detect compounds that are indicative of food that is being spoiled by bacteria or fungi. So this is where we, we see that a major uh, section of our research uh, will go to. Uh, and that's, that's very exciting because this is really in the le leading edge of research. And for that, I need to collaborate with um, uh, other researchers, uh, nanotechnologists, um, um, bioelectronic engineers, and it's fascinating because now I, have, I get to interact with fields of research I have no clue about to build something completely new that nobody has ever done before. So we see that if we're successful, and, and until now we are starting this research and it's going in the right direction, it seems that um, uh, we will be able to uh, build these new biosensors based on, on mosquito smell receptors. But later we can expand to other receptors from other insects. We can take this receptor from this insect because it detects this compound that we like, etc. cetera. Um, so that, that's one of the major um, uh, future, um, how do you say, research path that, that, that we're exploring ac actively.